Hi all, Campbell's Coins here, and I have a really neat unbox. Excuse me? Yes, Angry Wallet. Are you taking me to dinner? No. Do I have a dress on? No. Do I look like a prom date to you? Nope. Then why are you trying to fuck me? Oh my gosh, you guys, I am super excited for this month's unboxing video. I have so many unique goodies that I just cannot wait to share with you, let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome to Campbell's Coins. I've got uh, some very awesome unboxing videos here for you today. Uh, I'm actually gonna open up this one off camera just a little bit just because my buddy's name and address is listed on the box. We don't want anyone to to know where he lives. Okay. So I'm actually super psyched to get this. And I, I guarantee if I were to put up a thing saying, guess what this is, you guys would not have a freaking clue. Uh, something that a member of the Instagram community has created. His name on Instagram is Reckless Metals. And it's going to take a little bit of time to get to it, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. So uh, I got this from H Town Stacker. He was raffling off this box, and he was raffling it off. Uh, for for Reckless Metals, and this is what Reckless Metals created. He has pedo pills. You're like, what the hell is pedo pills? Pedophile pills. <laughs> so, one shot, one cure. These are pedo pedo pills max. And then you open it, and this is what they are. So it's an inert shotgun round. He hand loads these, and uh, on at the top of each, you can see. Hopefully that will focus. I have to get that to focus. And it says, only a good one is a dead one. And that is absolutely right. Only good pedophile is a dead pedophile. In this case, he didn't uh, put in a primer. He has werewolf rounds that I, I think I've showcased on this channel. And uh, those were primed, but the, uh, the primer was already shot. Uh, but it's actually set up pretty cool. It's got the wad in there. And uh, an ounce of pure silver at the very tippity top. And it is pretty cool. Obviously it's a little lopsided because the silver is so heavy. But uh, here's the other one. So it's two ounces total in this box. And both of them are inscribed with only good one is a dead one. Isn't focusing. Super, super sweet thing. Uh, really wanted to buy one of these, but they uh, obviously sold out very quickly. So I was happy to win it in the raffle. Thank you, H Town Stacker, for hosting it. That was awesome. And uh, Reckless Metals, keep doing what you're doing because you are creating some awesome and amazing products. There are people who will just use the same molds over and over and over again and think it's something unique and interesting and then there are people who think outside the box and one of those people is reckless metals so guys check out reckless metals on instagram i'm not paid to do this i paid money for this so there's no way in hell uh if i if i bought money or excuse me if i bought something with my money uh, that's telling you something. I think you guys would really enjoy stuff like this. It's a novelty item, you know. It's not something you want to be stacking because of the cost, but hey, it's really cool. All right, let's get to the next box. 
All right, moving on to our next unboxing. Uh, I've got a package here that you might recognize if you order from this company. This is from Atmex. And I had to order these because I ordered the Christmas version, and so to not get the Valentine's Day version would would just be a bummer. And so I, I got three of these, and I got three for uh, one for my my mom, my dad, and my girlfriend. And I'm sure you can tell this is uh, Atmex does a, a good packaging job from time to time. And this is one of them. That's right, Peanuts, Snoopy's Valentine. I, I just love these, I'm sorry. <laughs> and of course I love the colorized version. I think this one has a mintage of a thousand. The plain one that's not colorized, it just doesn't do anything for me. The proof, the, I think the proof is dumb because it's just a bunch of squiggly lines. Kind of looks like this. Um, and then like the, the field, the background of the coin is, is all, um, has that mirror finish and I, I just don't care for it that much, but the colored coins, oh my God, these are so nice. Let's see if we can get the light over here a little bit better. And then they're in the Atmex TEP. These are just so cool. So there's one that I regret. Um, it's the Snoopy that was hugging the heart colorized. And this came out, I think, that one came out on the same day, but it was a eBay exclusive. And every single time it went to eBay, uh, it was sold out. I mean, they had they showed that they were available and then I would add it to my cart and it would go, oops, this item is no longer available. So it sold out super, super fast. And I wish I had gotten those um, I was actually really bummed I didn't get those because I thought they were so cute. Uh, but this is uh, is just as good. So I'm happy I got these. These will make a great Valentine's Day gift. All right. Um, I've got some excellent box unboxings coming up in this video for you guys. So stay tuned for that because I've got a lot more goodies coming up. We have a uh, package from a member of the community. This is from Instagram. And I have not purchased from this person before, but I, uh, I really wanted these coins and I can never find them. Um, of course, I also don't open on the camera, which is silly. All right, so this is from Choin Chief. I really do hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I have already done an unboxing for this type of coin, but there was a second one that I try to get really bad. So the first one, of course, is going back to the Peanuts, the Snoopy Valentine. I really like these coins. I really like this series in particular. And uh, Atmex did a thing where they had this coin up. Snoopy. Hugging the heart. How can you not like this? Except Atmex put this on eBay. And every single time I went to eBay to purchase it when it was on its lower price, it would sell out within seconds. And I, there was like, they put it up twice and then it sold out. And now they have it up and there's no issue with it up. But there's one little tiny problem. I had placed an order for it and it said March 17th was the delivery date. Why March 17th? I have no freaking clue why Atmex is taking that long. It is certainly beyond any sort of, of demand figures that the bullion websites have out there. But uh, Choin Chief had this on their page and I really liked it. And so I bought one from them as well. And I buy these. Um, I usually keep one for myself and then I give one to uh, my parents, my girlfriend, that type of thing. But uh, so this one will be going out uh, either for like a Valentine's Day gift or a Mother's Day gift, something like that. Um, my mom is a big fan of peanuts. She grew up in Santa Rosa, so 
this kind of makes she just likes stuff like this so um, I'm happy to get it so thank you Choin Chi for for uh, packaging up those those coins so well there's a lot of tape so I had to cut through all the tape took a little while to uh, open things up but once we did now you get to see so I'm excited to have these um, I have I bought three of these already for my my parents and my girlfriend now I have one for myself and uh, same with this I bought one here and then I bought three off of eBay from Atmex and uh, excited to have those come in whenever they do all right continuing this giant unboxing video I've got a very big box here very heavy I wonder what could be inside this is an order I got from JM Bullion. Now I'm sure that a lot of you are having issues ordering from precious metals dealers where things are taking time. This was ordered exactly a week before the huge run up on silver and stuff. So I ordered all this stuff. I foresaw that this stuff was happening decided I'm gonna get some some silver and uh, it's very fortunate to buy it when I did I think I paid like 29 or 30 bucks a coin something like that So JM Bullion did a really good job packing this up. And what do we have here? We should have, we should be sealed. 2021 American Silver Eagles. And I got five little cases. So we should have a hundred total here. And we do. So this is 2021 American Silver Eagles. I don't feel like popping these open right now. Um, I do have another order that is set to arrive soon that has loose 2021 American Eagles in it. So I'll show you those. But this is what I got from Jay and Bullion. And I just want to kind of go over a little story that kind of pissed me off about dealing with Jay and Bullion. So... When I had placed my order for this 100 ounces of silver, I paid with a credit card. And when you pay with a credit card, things should ship out immediately because you know they have payment, it's not using a e-check or a check where you're waiting for the funds to clear, that sort of thing. And the very next day, uh, which would be Tuesday of last week that I ordered this, I should raise today is the twenty is the first of February. So I ordered these on a Monday. On the Tuesday, they didn't ship them out. And instead, they put up the message of Jay and Bullion is experiencing huge demand, and your order will ship out two to three days after payment clears. Well, that's cool for people who ordered on. Tuesday. I ordered on freaking Monday, so you should have my order shipped out that day, except it didn't. And I was kind of getting annoyed because by Thursday, my order had not shipped, and the message that they had on their website changed to five to ten days wait period after payment clears. And then Thursday night, I got a, a message from JM Bullion saying, your package has been shipped. So I'm like, oh cool, maybe they shipped it on Thursday. Click on the shipping label for tracking and it says pre-shipment label created. I'm like, well that's odd. Maybe, maybe things just didn't update. Friday comes around, same message. Saturday comes around, Saturday morning I check. Now this is a full week this is five days, five full days after I placed the order. I placed it Monday morning. Five full days later, check it, and they had dropped it off at the post office late at night. Now, I understand that they're dealing with a high demand period right now, 
but there is zero reason that this order should not have left on Saturday when it was ordered on Monday and they didn't have a demand and Tuesday hit. They should have had it shipped out on Tuesday and they didn't. So I'm a little bit um, annoyed and I don't know if I'm gonna be ordering off of online precious metals websites anymore. I think I'm gonna just get mine from my local coin shop, which is Avenue Coin in Stockton, California. You guys should check them out. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna deal with them for everything. I know that Atmex has certain things that just some places don't carry uh, certain releases like the Peanuts coins that I just showed you. Obviously, I'm gonna deal with them for that because I, I like those kinds of coins, but for the bullion and pre-33 stuff, I am not dealing with these online dealers anymore, especially when they put in the, the contract that you signed that they can cancel the order at any point in time. So if you bought it today at $30 an ounce and then the price shoots up to $45, so they're essentially losing out on that money, they could technically cancel on you and then um, make you reorder it at 45. I just think that's wrong if you Order it at a certain price that should lock you in. And I haven't personally had it happen to me uh, with any dealer where that has happened. I personally have not had that happen, but I have heard horror stories of that happening with other people, with other people's shipments being canceled altogether. And uh, I just don't think that's right or good business because it kind of, I don't care how much business you're doing, you're still it still puts uh, bad taste in people's mouths. Anyway, I've rambled on for too long. Let's get to the next unboxing. You know what, screw it. After that rant, I decided I'm gonna just pop one of these bad boys open because we have to check to see if it actually has 2021s in it, right? It would suck that they got some other year that had a very high mintage. And they are 2021. Well, at least this roll is. All right, let's move on to the next unboxing. All right, continuing our unboxing, I've got something here from Atmex. Normally I don't like ordering from Atmex just because uh, they charge awful lot. Um, but on the other hand, they have things that no other place carries. And this happens to be one of those things. And unfortunately, I'm a sucker for these coins. Got these off of eBay because that's where they offered them. You might already know what they are. That's right, the Peanuts Snoopy Valentine. Yeah, I, I freaking love these. Um, the colored, the colorized versions. But uh, yeah. They uh, hit it out of the out of the park with these. I really do enjoy the the colorized version. It's it's very well done. It's very simple. It's not over the top, and uh, they come in these really nice TEP uh, cases. So how can you hate this? I mean, honestly, I mean some of you might. So good for you, I guess. But I love them. I'm happy to get them. Let's move on to the next one. All right, my last unboxing. Maybe you can see the handiwork here. Look at how well everything is wrapped up. This comes from one of my favorites, if not my favorite, coin shops out there. If you're not buying from Avenue Coin, you are seriously missing out on life. You're missing out on great products and you're missing out on great customer service. Every time I have bought from these guys, I have never, ever been disappointed. These guys are professionals in every sense, very knowledgeable, and very willing to help you. Of course, there is a very high demand for premium, excuse me, for precious metals. So they are a little bit busy, but visit them, give them a call, uh, hit them up on Instagram. They're Avenue Coin Inc. And uh, you'll be glad that you did. Anytime somebody asks me, like, where should I, where can I find something like this? I'm like, talk to Avenue Coin. They can probably help you out with that. Um, ooh. I'm 
on the struggle bus tonight for opening. All right, they are put together very well. Let's just say that. Um, I've kind of got a surprise here, so I kind of will hold off on that. But essentially, I got some 2021 American Silver Eagles. And what else? I just have to start this off by saying this is something that I've always really wanted, but I just, I never bought. So I'm happy that, to have picked these up. These are 2021 Gold Buffaloes. And what sets these apart from the American Gold Eagle, since these are also made in America, is these are 24 karat, so they are four nines fine pure gold. American Gold Eagles have four nines fine pure gold in them, but they also have copper and silver mixed in, so it makes it about 91.7 or 91.8% pure. But these are 100% pure gold. And I'm glad to have gotten the uh, 2021s because, uh, I don't know, it's a new year. It's nice to get something that might not have that high of a mintage. So you guys need to check out Avenue Coin um, because you're seriously missing out if you aren't. Uh, thank you, Jerry, over at Avenue Coin. He helped me out. He is their social media extraordinaire person. And uh, actually, I'm going to put this back up. It's better than looking at an empty box. Uh, Jerry and the crew, they're all great. Joel, give them, a, give them a call. Give them a visit. Hit them up on Instagram. You will be happy that you did. I think that's going to wrap it up for February. Uh, anything else, I'll just roll over into March. All right, guys. I appreciate you sticking through this really long video. Um, I enjoyed these unboxings. I hope you did too. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you to everyone who sent in stuff. I really do appreciate it. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.